ever wondered about the smallest member of the United Nations? Welcome to Tuvalu. This diminutive gem, nestled in the heart of the Pacific Ocean, is the fourth smallest country in the world. Despite its size, Tuvalu is a sovereign state that proudly holds a seat among the world's nations in the United Nations. Tuvalu is not just one piece of land, but an archipelago composed of nine islands, each with its unique charm and beauty. These islands, scattered like pearls across the vast Pacific, are home to a vibrant and welcoming community that cherishes its rich cultural heritage. From the traditional music and dance that echo through the air to the intricate crafts that adorn their homes, the people of Tuvalu are the beating heart of these islands. So, while the country may be small in square miles, it's vast in spirit and culture. This tiny nation, though small in size, has a rich history and culture awaiting your discovery. The islands of Tuvalu were first inhabited by Polynesians thousands of years ago. These early settlers navigated the vast Pacific Ocean in their sturdy outrigger canoes, establishing a vibrant culture on the atolls of Tuvalu. They developed a unique language, Tuvaluan, and their own distinct traditions and arts, many of which remain integral to Tuvalu's culture today. In the 16th century, the islands were sighted by European explorers. The islands remained relatively untouched until the late 19th century when they became part of the British Empire. This period marked a significant change for Tuvalu, introducing new systems of governance, education, and religion. The early 20th century saw Tuvalu as a British protectorate, a period characterized by peace and stability, but also a significant cultural transformation. This era left a lasting imprint on the islands, shaping the modern nation we see today. From Polynesian settlers to a British protectorate, Tuvalu's early history is a fascinating blend of cultures. On the 1st of October 1978, Tuvalu declared independence from the United Kingdom. This marked a monumental shift in the history of this small, yet mighty island nation nestled in the Pacific Ocean. Tuvalu's journey to self-governance was a testament to the spirit of its people, who, despite their geographical isolation and size, boldly stepped onto the world stage as a sovereign entity. Just two years later, in 1980, Tuvalu was welcomed into the United Nations, further solidifying its place in the international community. The country's government, a constitutional monarchy with a parliamentary democracy, reflects its historical ties to the United Kingdom. Yet, it is distinctively Tuvaluan, with local leaders, known as Kaupoli, playing a vital role in governing each of the nation's nine islands. In terms of its economy, Tuvalu is rather unique. With limited natural resources, the nation has had to be innovative. A substantial part of its revenue comes from an unlikely source, its internet domain. Tuvalu owns the rights to the ETV domain, which is highly sought after by television and media companies worldwide. This, along with substantial foreign aid, particularly from Australia, Taiwan, and New Zealand, keeps the nation's economy afloat. However, Tuvalu faces a significant challenge in the form of climate change. As one of the world's lowest-lying countries, it's particularly vulnerable to rising sea levels. This has led to widespread concern about the future of the nation and its people. Yet, Tuvalu is not simply accepting its fate. It's actively working towards sustainable solutions, leading the way in renewable energy initiatives, and calling upon the global community to take urgent action on climate change. Despite its challenges, Tuvalu stands strong, a testament to the resilience of its people. Even as they navigate the uncertainties of the future, the Tuvaluans continue to uphold their vibrant culture and traditions, remaining a beacon of strength and adaptation in the heart of the Pacific. Tuvalu, a tiny nation with a big heart, has a story worth telling. Imagine a small scattering of islands located in the Pacific Ocean, halfway between Hawaii and Australia. This is Tuvalu, a nation that measures just 26 square kilometers, making it the fourth smallest country in the world. But don't let its size fool you. Tuvalu has a rich history, dating back to the early Polynesians who first discovered these beautiful islands. It was a British protectorate for many years, before gaining its independence in the late 20th century. Despite its small size and remote location, Tuvalu has faced and continues to face modern challenges with resilience and determination. From facing the impacts of climate change to navigating the complexities of international diplomacy as the smallest member of the United Nations, Tuvalu's story is one of strength and endurance. So next time when someone asks you about the smallest member of the United Nations, you'll have quite a story to tell about Tuvalu.